Big shout out to our sponsors today, L'Oreal and Redkin for making it happen and keeping the lights on. Thank you. Hey, hello model. How's it going? Hi, How you hello, doing, hello model. I actually have a live model this time, so excuse oh, yeah. me. Um, but this is Tom. Anyway, what I've done is I've just actually cut the hair before okay. um, and prepped it. So if you can see, I'm going to turn it around so the camera can actually see. Wow. What I've done is I've just graduated the sides, so we have this nice bit of weight at the back. We can turn around. Um, and from that, I've kind of tapered all of this down so it's just nice and clean. With the top, what I wanted to do, obviously, is essentially um, the area here to keep it quite square, quite masculine, have this nice shape. And then with the top, I just did small little layers that are going to connect and all sit back into each other. Um, quite simple, um, but just, yeah, just really nice kind of contrasting with the taper and the shortness into this length. Um, I'm actually just going to style the model as well today. So Leah, you say that is simple. That is not simple. <laughs> I mean, simple I, to I, the I eyes. Can tell you. Visually simple. But, but actually, honest. I think when you look at that haircut and actually to be really close, it is so craft like yeah. honestly the Perfection. because we were just sort of saying earlier yes. about you know Barbara and there's been that real sharp high fade. Yeah. But Definitely. what I love about it is so subtle. Yeah, definitely. I mean, to, to be completely honest with, like, you, I've talked to you before, Dom, and mm. uh, very my nice story, and, to. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't know everything in the world. I'm not the best barber or the best hairdresser. I'm still learning and I'm still growing. Um, and so for me, I think all of my cutting skills are actually quite simple techniques, you know, I've just graduated the sides into the back and um, square layered the top. It's, it's not, it's not scientific tech technical terms but just it I think it's just for me visually I'm a visual learner so visually for me I can see where I need to create this look you know? and again if there's any guys like I asked James if a client went to the salon they saw them hires and the fellas looking and watching and thinking I like that haircut yeah. how do they describe yeah. that haircut I mean with this haircut I think it's it generally will be tapered at the sides because a lot of the thing about men's hairdressing or men's barbering right now is everyone's so focused on the fades and um, how short they want to get it and the numbers and we get it all the time you know coming into a barber's and you get guys who've just seen maybe a few words on Instagram and they're just shouting them at you and they don't actually know what they mean so I mean for us I think it's it's good to always guide your clients to what they actually want. So someone maybe can come in and say, I want a skin fade and really long hair on the top. Well, actually it's my turn to turn around and say, well, maybe a taper down to skin will suit the length on top sitting back. Um, and it's just about balance and talking them and educating them on their hair as well. So with this haircut, I would just say kind of loose, um, heavy on top and just taper down at the ends, just nice and simple. So, and you're going to style this off? I'm going to style this off. Now I've let it kind of dry naturally, um, I've blow dried a little bit in the back just so we can sit the layers into each other. Um, Thomas has a bit of movement, again with what James was saying, kind of that natural wave, that kink. I think we're really going for um, going for that kind of natural look. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, I mean if you're at home and you want to kind of style this, style your hair, what I'm I love that though, we're all getting told to squeeze in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all Okay, so, so sure. look, we're, we're squeezing in. He's not as easy as the, as the mannequin heads, you know? Um, so I'm just actually going to wet this down a bit. I know it still has volume in it, so I just want it to be damp. I don't want, actually want to soak the hair. I'm going to turn them around there. Have you the used back. product in this beforehand? Or so just this totally is just clean. blow dried, just fully clean blow dried. Um, he has a nice natural lift in the hair anyway. Um, and I'm just going to literally dampen the ends. You can see it's not actually going into the root. It's just nice and damp. Um, I'm going to use a nice product. Now, if you at home maybe have like a leave-in conditioner right now I'm using red gun and it's actually called no blow dry and um, so with this product I think it will just give a really nice natural finish I still want a little bit of shine in it um, and a little bit of movement so I'm just gonna put a bit in there as you how can much, see how much do you usually put I in I always like just this? say maybe like a little bit longer than a pea size amount you know what okay. I mean um, yeah. and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work this through the hair and make sure it sits into the roots on top of the hair, you can see working into them layers. Um, and what this will do is when it'll dry, it'll still have a small bit of sheen, um, yet it will kind of be like more natural. So if he goes out, I want this look, I want him to go out, the wind hit it, and it to fall and still look quite natural and mm -hmm. nice. So you can keep, if you wanted to style, if I mean, we're talking about Instagram nowadays, if you wanted to pull parts down, it's always nice to have it for a photo, you know, that image there where it's kind of nice. You've got the length that you can move that bad a bit. You know, so, different yeah, I mean, it gives you... Good an, hair, Tom. I mean, yeah. I think we, we cut, 
I mean, a lot of a lot of the times these days, barbers are so like pomade or mac light, and everything is so stiff and stuck. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we let the hair just do what it naturally wants to do, generally it will look. Much what about, better. If you go into the barber shop, do you get from a barber? Good hair styling advice. <coughs> Does that come into the time factor? I, I of think a that is shop? completely down to like for me, I will always educate. I, I'll have like a five to ten minute consultation with my client. What do you do? Do you have 30 minutes to blow dry your hair? Do you have five minutes to blow dry your hair? You know? So ask them what they do, ask them where they what they want their hair to look like. Are they lazy with their hair? Is there anything they don't like about their hair? Um, and I think definitely product does come into play with that because if you give someone a pomade who only takes five minutes to seal their hair, but they're not going to get a nice, yeah. decent look out of a pomade, you know? You, you're going to have to spend hours blow drying and then to try and set that. So I think product, is very important and and the the fact is that most clients don't don't know about products they don't know what they can use so again uh, our fellows are looking in and thinking should i ask questions to my barber my Do, hairdresser yeah always always ask if you're unsure i mean a lot of people don't want to be picky at a picky client nobody mm -hmm. wants to be a picky client but i think for us barbers or hairdressers, it helps us when people are a little bit picky and they're asking questions yeah. and what can we do or mm -hmm. how can we help your style or whatever. And I think it helps us then know where they're at with their hair. And I think that's really important, especially for a style like this that's kind of cut nice and this is going to dry nice that's and good. natural with that's the really waves, good. with the curls. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a bit of a curtains be... going on there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so I think, do you know what? Well, I think this is definitely a trend. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so sushi think, world that trend. Yeah. With the curtains, I think um, like that kind of old school vibe is definitely that coming back. Well, you know, that's, that's, the mullets are coming yeah. back, everything and it's like nice that. nice because he can create his look at home. Exactly, he, it'll take him two minutes. And to to Thomas, you're a barber too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this isn't just Thomas. Yeah. Thomas this has is his own barber shop in, in Ireland. In Ireland, in Dublin, yeah. He's he's actually the first man who taught me how to shave. So. That is pretty cool yeah. to think that. Yeah. Yeah. What a legacy. Yeah. Okay. So you're to blame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and again, just talking, touching on the beards, I know we haven't talked a bit about this, but what I've basically it's done here is well. I've left it really natural, you know, along the edges. Sometimes things can be too forced in a beard, you know, and it's it's like nobody wants to walk around looking like 50 cents. Some people <laughs> do, but, you know, I mean, we, you, you, we do see beard. them. You yeah. do see it. And, and a lot of enhancements and colour enhancements, sometimes there's just no need. Natural yeah. is better. Yeah. So with Thomas, I know um, I've obviously cut his hair before, but I know that natural is always better. We've cut, kept the ends quite messy. Mm -hmm. um, underneath is not clean and defiled, but it, it still has that shape. You know, we've tidied in the sides, and it's still quite natural and mm -hmm. um, quite messy, but it doesn't look overdone. Wicked. I think that's the key. So, yeah. Superb. Is that it? That is that superbly is it. Thank it. You, Thomas. Really thank enjoyed you that, nice. Tegan. Yeah, Jordana. Yeah, really, really nice. thank you so much, Thomas, for giving it your time coming in. And it looks brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you thank can you go out and he doesn't have to worry about it. High fives, Leah. Yes. Lovely. High five, Thomas. Go back, give the love to the 